everybody. This is Joe. Joe's Premium Firewood. Coming to you live on Facebook on Friday, March 24th, 2023. I'm out here in Oak Alley where I had uh, Nate came on Tuesday and Wednesday, brought me three monster truckloads of wood. He brought me some sassafras, which is right here. This is all dry and ready to go. And like I said, I'm back out here in Oak Alley behind the barn. You can recognize that. Beautiful day, especially to the north. The sun's shining to the north. But I've already got some wood in here. This is I split this yesterday. Some ash and cherry and dry oak into the front of there. Then I'm going to split this uh, sassafras into here. Maybe another uh, third of the truckload. And then I'm going to go over to my summer campfire area and uh, load up there. But like I say, he brought me a monster. This is probably close to two face cords of wood right here. See, we've got some thumbs up coming. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick through this, pick up some of this limb wood. Probably only split for about 10, 15 minutes. And uh, somebody said good morning. There's Jim. He's always here. Jimmy G. Jimmy G's here. Hit that thumbs up. But uh, I'm going to get my gloves on. I'm going to put you on the uh, tripod over here. I hope the sounds okay like I say usually when I'm close to the camera but if it get if uh, when I move away and it's it starts breaking up let me know although I won't be able to hear what you're saying I hope this uh, you know they threw it into this pile of wood I hope it don't knock it over somebody said they're here our uh, John Manning is here Vincent Haas we gotta get the old truck loaded up I gotta do a summer campfire wood it's that time of year folks it's summer camp season started, so I got to uh, get this tripod figured out real quick. Doesn't want to move. Ah, come on, it's kind of stuck. Ah, I'm having some technical difficulties with this. I don't want it just to sit in here; it's going to fall. But uh, just a second. There it goes. Now it's moving, I think. Hold on. Hopefully you're not watching the replay and seeing all this, but there. I guess that's good. Hopefully it don't fall off there. Let me go fire up the splitter and get going at this. You still hear me? You hear me now? Can you hear me now? Got this. This should start right up. It's all about 37 degrees. So it didn't get. It got. I think down into the upper 20s maybe last night. But it's warming up. It's supposed to get in the upper 40s today. So. Get her done! Not playing games today! I'm wearing my uh, East and Mid hat. My East and Mid blue and orange today there, Patty. You watching Patty in New York? Got my uh, orange t-shirt on. There it is. Got the orange t-shirt on, the blue hoodie. This is one of the bigger pieces. John and uh, Nate have been saving this for me for a while. I actually asked them. I told them I'd pay them 50 bucks if they split it and stacked it in the driveway. And I know Nate wanted to do it, but John was in a hurry. But I'm kind of glad they didn't now. Save 50 bucks. A lot of this is limbwood and it don't need to be split. Remember, this is summer campfire wood. I still get a lot of people say, oh, sassafras is junk. Yeah, it snaps and pops, but makes great campfire wood. Customers love it.
give them some kindling. And this is going to a customer who ordered last year. He ordered in a, or two years ago. He ordered two years ago. I had Darren deliver to him, and uh, he got a Joe Cord then. So one truck, one Joe Cord lasts him two summers of summer camping. So I am going to send him some wet wood on the back. I'll keep it separated. By the time he gets to it, 20, 25, it'll be dry, it's nice and dry. Ain't no split in this limb wood. No splitting required. One good thing about this press, it's really light. Burns hot though, burns hot and fast. Something I can handle in my weakened state. Nate brought me some big stuff. I don't think I can lift anymore. I'd like lots my strength in, in the last six months. Come over, uh, ask you guys if you can hear me. So why don't you tell me if the sound quality is good when I get on the other side of the camera. So leave a couple comments, say yeah, the sounds good or oh, the sounds terrible. Let me know. How's the sound? Sound pretty good? Is it good, Michael Volk? Sounds great. John Manning, thank you. Appreciate it, John. Thanks for uh, helping me out there. I have another customer, she uh, burns in her fireplace in the winter time in the house. She said she likes snappy poppy wood. So I make sure I give her some uh, some sassafras. I, there'll be plenty of this for her. Probably wondering why I'm going over there and picking these up. I just uh, I want the trail back there open, so I want to get some of that out of the way. This will be my second delivery this week. When Nate came and delivered to me on Tuesday, I gave him 50 bucks to deliver to a local customer, but it had to be walked and stacked. So he did a delivery for me. Grab these, this limb wood over here. I don't know if you can see me. Gotta walk out of view for a minute. But I got these. Good and dry. But like I said, this is for his backyard fire pit. The sassafras is fine. Just like pine is fine for summer camping. Pine is fine. Sunday I plan on going live. Sunday's Mike's birthday, so I don't know if he wants to come work or if he wants to stay home and play games. It is his birthday, so if I guess if he wants a day off, he can have a day off. And have his birthday off. But I'll just come back here. Like I say, I, I, I just wanted them to dump this out of the way.
You know, I, I don't mind a little bit of sassafras mixed in with winter wood. It's a good filler wood, but I wouldn't want somebody to get 100% of it for winter wood. Uh, and this load, I believe I'm just going to have to dump it. So I, I, I was thinking about having Mike deliver it for me on Sunday after he left. But with this being my only my second truck load this week, last week I only sold one. You know, March usually sucks. Sucks for firewood sales. March and April are my worst months. Oh, uh, the restaurant did order though. The restaurant just ordered some set or uh, shed bark. So. I told the I told the king of firewood I'd pay his hundred and fifteen dollar phone bill if he split and delivered shagbark to him next week. He said he'd do it. But shagbark is uh, one of the easiest woods to split. People are probably wonder why I don't just use a mall, but you just realize how weak I am right now with what's ever wrong with me. I do have an appointment to see the doctor next week. She's not going to fix the problem, but I think she will. Uh, maybe I might have to. Up my uh, pain meds because I am in a lot of pain right now. Just trying to ignore it. I'm kind of wobbly on my feet. Can't feel my feet. I'm getting to the point where I can't even walk. Nobody knows what it is. Everybody's trying to figure out. Let's run t test after test on me. A few more of these and then we're going to go get some of that wet stuff. fill in the back area. Somebody asked me the other day what's the difference between a Joe cord and a half cord. The, the half cord has to be stacked neatly and up high in the truck where a Joe cord is just tossed in above the sides. So it makes about a 10 foot by 4 foot stack. And the half cord is 12 by 4. Nate told me he was uh, behind on bills. I, I still owe him $300 for this wood. You know, I'm not selling anything. So, well, I bought this pile and two other piles. I had him do a delivery for, for me. I paid him $500 or paid him $200 and owe him three. You know, it says the press you can pretty much burn green. So I think they, they said they've been saving this for me for a while. It's definitely dry. Ready to burn. 
Yeah, it's not premium, but campfire. Think about it. It's about 35 miles away. So it's a 45 minute drive. And uh, he's paying me $225 for this. Delivered and dumped. Joe Cord. I'll split three more and we'll call it. I'll move down there and start loading up some of that stuff. Ugh. Nate says he wants to bring me a bunch more wood, but uh, it's like I... I can only pay them when I can pay them. So I said it had to be for IOU. Right now, this is the best time of year to cut your wood. So you can see, you can get in the woods and see everything. Don't have to deal with, with the bugs or the prickers or the heat. There's enough sassafras. There's probably sassafras down there. Go put some wet wood in. You like that? I got skills. I got skills. All right, let's move the truck. Got to move the truck down here. So I'm gonna set this camera here. Say I don't have a camera crew. I don't want it. Oh. Yes. See me drive up. A second. And start loading down there. Alright, make sure I shut that off. work let me come get you like I say you know when I'm doing the camera and other people are working it's a smooth show but when I got to do the camera and work then I then there's gonna be some delays like this folks you just got to realize that morning good morning there we go get that Joe cord in there we're gonna move this down Kind of backed up in there a little too far. I want to get some of that wet stuff off the ground there. Get in there and get it. All right. Hopefully the camera stays on there like it did earlier. Uh, but this stuff's wet. It's maple, whatever it is. So that'll come off first. This stuff on the bottom really wet. Oh. 
See, there's some sassafras in here too. Cherry and maple. Uh, let me pull for it a little bit. I was trying to get it finessed right in there, but backed up too far. Uh, somebody guide me. That's better. That's better, folks. Now we can get it. We got 31 watching. All right. Yeah, I know some people like watching me work, but it's like, but I like, I don't mind being cameraman, and, and plus, it's getting to the point, that's the only thing I can do. Until they fix me, if they can fix me, if there's a cure, if there's some sort of treatment or medicine. And some of this stuff on the ground is still frozen to the ground. Gotta kick it, pound it, something. Jeez. Yeah, that's still got ice cubes on it. It's not gonna get them. Warm up. It's got to warm up. I'm not going to be able to get these ones off the ground. You know, at one time there were pallets in here. But they, uh, you know, got backed over and stepped on and drove on. You know, I'll break and disintegrate. So, uh, pretty much done with this area. The way I'd been doing it. Oh, Mom's going somewhere. Oh, heard her just start the Buick up. Oh, say hi to Mom. Oh. Oh. Yeah, these are just, it's just weighs like a, more than a piece of oak, you know, just because it's just so saturated with water. So waterlogged and frozen. Ah, God, so heavy. I hate, I hate walking over pieces and picking them up. So if I can't pick them up, because they're stuck, they're frozen. What am I supposed to do? I gotta get this truck loaded. Told the guy I'd be there at one o'clock. Here it is, what about 20 after 11. ones on the ground they're frozen they might just stay there there's some poopler poplar a popular oh. I get fatigued real easy like, I mean, doing the easiest stuff, too. Could work about a half an hour doing this. I'm going to take a break, and then at least I got a 40 minute, 45 minute drive to try to regain some strength before I get there. I think he stacks it on pallets. 
after I uh, dump it out. Like I said, this is the second delivery I did to him. He ordered in, in uh, April of uh, 2021. Working hot and heavy for me. Doing deliveries. Ugh. Come on. Bunch of knots on it. It's heavy. Or it's heavy to me. I almost have to climb up on here because these ones on the bottom are just just frozen to the ground. That didn't help that it got down into the 20s last night. Don't like doing it like this. But those ones on the ground, they're just too hard to pick up. I'm gonna get my Joe cord in here. I'm gonna go take a shower and then get ready for the delivery. And then after the delivery, I'm meeting a former co-worker for lunch. When I had a real job. some of these they are frozen come down here and just grab some of this wall I know this stuff's drier of course it's always good anytime it's stacked it's gonna be drier at least on the outside wall my prediction uh, within a month I'm not gonna be able to do any work uh, so they won't have figured out what's wrong with me by then uh, sorry my nose is running that's all I had Out one piece, one piece of wood feels heavy to me now. I get up where this wood is not frozen. I almost have to use two hands for pieces now. a video Mike I released this morning shoot uh, always in the, these short videos I've been releasing I always put the original video if you haven't seen it in the description so if you click that you can watch the entire video instead of just the one minute videos that I've been posting lately of the older stuff I'd like to be out cutting I'd like to be a you know not feeling like I'm gonna die out here working. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. So weak. Oh, Jesus. Bounces right off there. I ain't going nowhere. Just all frozen. All frozen. Can't get them. 
You don't want to move. I have to grab some of this loose stuff in this wall here. That stuff I know is dry. I hate doing it, but I told Nate I might have to hire him to do splitting. I can't do it anymore. Oh, my feet are hurting. My legs killing me. My stomach all around here hurts. Oh. I, don't, I only take the strong pain medication at night so I can try to get some sleep. And then, then during the day, oh. I just take Advil, you know, the over counter stuff. But you see, I do. I try to put up new videos once in a while. You know what? I know I've been sent, putting up a lot of old ones, but they're like just making them in a short fashion. They're brief videos, or reels, what Facebook calls them. And this stuff's slippery, and I don't really feel too steady on my feet right now. I gotta try walking on this to get to the ones I can reach, the ones that I can move. I gotta make bundles too. But not until it gets 50 degrees. And I say not until uh, next Thursday. Maybe I'll get back up to 50. Fingers are getting a little cold. Got to do a warm up. I don't have any more hand warmers left. I have my taxes done. Yeah, I pay taxes. Haters. Having them done. It looks like I'm going to. Oh, the federal government and uh, I think I'm gonna about break even with the state oh. some more of these ones that I can move so I'm sitting here walking on these frozen ones that's how I'm gonna get rid of this crap just take it to people I know that I can dump it off the back or stack it off the back and then it sits for months and then when they get to it it'll be dry I wonder if my customer Robert's watching this right now he contacted me through Facebook so he does uh, follow the page I believe Tripping on these. See if I can get these off the ground. There's a bunch of them right here. I know when when you're in the wood stacked, you go to load the truck. It does go a lot faster. So I guess some of the time you save by not stacking it. Just toss it into a pile. Uh, you lose time when you load it. You load in the truck. Yeah. Yeah, these are nice and dry. You'll yeah, have plenty of dry wood in there, folks. Until he gets to the wet stuff. Oh. 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 
Yeah, get get them safe so they don't fall out of here. I want them dropping out off the back of the truck, off the side of the truck when I take a turn. Uh, This is a block of ice. Come on. Tell you what, ice is one one tough thing. Hard to break apart. Hard to break this stuff apart. This is going right down next to one of my competitors. Oh, I need to get a few more on here. I'll have this board. And I can take a break, get ready for lunch, do the delivery, and then go out to lunch. Thinking about getting potato skins today, folks. Potato skins. Oh, hardly eating anything. No, I don't have an appetite anymore. Oh. Why not? And I, I don't do much work. It's so weak. So I don't work up an appetite. Oh, I fell over. Get a good look at this. Sorry. It's better than having a snot dangling on my nose, right? It's going into the wash anyway after this. Yep, cherry maple sassafras. That's my favorites. We sell it for campfire wood. Soft maple. No, hard maple. Don't get that too often, even though there's a lot of it around here. Oh, maybe I'll live stream the delivery. I don't know. See how much signal he has, and if he feels like if he'll let me do it, if he's gonna help me or what. But let me look at this. I think we're about there. So that's pretty darn close. I think I'll give them two more dry pieces of cherry as I walk over to you to shut you down. Just try to get them up there nice and safe. Uh, 225 is what I'm getting for this. Delivered and dumped. So take a look at it tell me hit that thumbs up hit the thumbs up folks thanks Craig been hurting a lot bud I don't know how much more I can take I know I can't take much more I'll tell you that right now so I hope your dad's doing well too but here's here's your Joe cord uh, Oh, see one hole in there. Nice piece of cherry right here. Oh, look at that cherry. Look at that. Yeah. Right up in here. There. There's the load, folks. Thanks for the 200 stars. Yeah, I'm not taking you on a road trip. There's too many, too many dead areas. I'm going to lose signal. So, no road trip today, but I might do it when I'm at the delivery. So we'll have to wait another day to do a actual road trip delivery. So, all right, I got to put this stuff away. It's going to rain tonight. So get in the house and head out. So thanks everybody watching. Thanks everybody to the end. Hit the thumbs up and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.
Have a great weekend.